All right, so I'm going to be showing you the fastest way possible to install uh, Kaladi, uh, which is the Discord authentication bot uh, for recurring payments using PayPal and Stripe um, within just a moment of minutes. And it's a simple, it's pretty simple. It's not too hard and it doesn't require too many technical skills. So first of all, you're going to want a Heroku account and you're going to want a Discord developers account. And from there, obviously you wanna create a server. I created a tutorial server here and I'm gonna show you how to invite it and get everything all set up. So we're just gonna name it um, Keybot Tutorial. My Y key on my Mac is a little broken. Yep, there we go, Keybot Tutorial. And we're just gonna create the app. <coughs> and then afterwards, um, once we create the app, we're gonna to have to, cheese. We're going to want to set up certain parameters inside our, <coughs> our, uh, <coughs> in our in our server. Jeez. Um, so one thing we were going to want is a MongoDB host. So um, I highly recommend using MLab. You can simply install the add-on by just typing in MLab. And like that, you can just choose the free version. And once that's all set up, Go underneath here, reveal vars, and we're just going to set up a couple things. So the first thing we want is we want to create something called the Mongo URL. And then we're going to add that value. And then we're going to add a value called production and just set it as true um, for the sake of the tutorial. But most likely you guys are going to want to set up as that. And then after that, we're going to set up a session secret. And we can simply generate one by going on this site, which I'll put in the description. Um, we'll just generate a random GUID, and then we can copy and paste that. And then we're gonna wanna set up a encryption key. And by doing this, you can set up an encryption key on this website. You can just do a simple AES-256 key And then the last thing you want to set up is your Discord token. And how we'll get that is we'll uh, do it on the developer site. So I made an app here on the developers portal. Um, so as you can see, I have my client ID. That's going to be important, but you just want to go underneath the bot section, hit add a bot, hit yes, do it. And then we're just going to reveal our token, copy it, and then here. And for that, that's all you have to do in terms of setting up your environmental variables. Um, and then if you want to uh, invite your bot to the server, all you have to do is copy and paste this client ID. And then you can use this website, make sure to hit administrator, put in your client ID. And once you hit that link, paste it, and then we'll put it into our tutorial server. It will hit us with this CAPTCHA. And like that, it's in our server. So uh, when we go underneath here, as you can see, the bot was added. You want to do a couple of things. That's very important. And a lot of people forget this. So when you have numerous roles, for example, like let's say we have a basic member role. And then we'll have like maybe, let's say, a VIP role, right? Most likely your key bot's going to be like all the way down, for example. You want to make sure it has the max rank all the way at the top. And then once that's all set up, we'll just give it a random color. It seems like a cool color. And then there, it's in our server, but what we want to do is we want to start it up. So if you know, you know where to get the build. Um, there's a couple things you want to do. So I'm just going to simply CD into my desktop from my command line. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have Heroku tool belt. So you can download it here. Um, Heroku tool bet is the CLL, CLI tool that you use to um, pretty much use Heroku's um, tools and clone and make all the, all the edits and whatnot. So we're just going to type in, I'm already logged in, but you'll type in Heroku login to log in your account. I've already done that in the past. I've had Heroku, I've been using it for years. So I can just type in Heroku git clone dash A and then keybot-tutorial, which is the name of the application we created. And then we can CD into that. G 
Jeez, my bad. My my Y key is literally gone, but once we're in there, uh, it'll be on our desktop. So I could go underneath um, Keybot Tutorial. As you can see, it's empty. So uh, you're gonna get a release. Um, what you're gonna download, um, if you guys know, if you're in the Discord group and you know how to get it, you'll get a release folder that's all zipped up. You can just copy and paste everything here. And then you wanna rename this file to config.json. And then one nice thing to do, you don't have to do it, um, is to make a git ignore. So I can use VS Code or any text editor of your choice and what you can do is you can make a git ignore oops not a folder a dot git ignore and then we can add something like node modules dot ds store and just a couple of things you don't want in there and once that's all set and everything looks all fine oopsie uh, you can type in git add and just make a commit message. And like that, you have everything all set up from here. It's gonna upload to Heroku and your server is gonna be up and running momentarily. Just give it one moment. It's pretty quick. Usually the first time takes a little longer, but um, it just installs the dependencies that it needs. And then um, once it's finished, as you can see, it, it was successful in building. And it's compressed, it's launching, and like that, it's up. So we can open up the app and it will make a web page for us um, with a couple of things. Most likely it's gonna say sold out here. So one thing is you can make an administration account. So if you go on slash admin, you can log in and you can manage all the roles and whatnot. But in order to do so, you need to run it through your Roku. So you can go here underneath more and you could hit uh, run console, type in bash, Just give it a couple of seconds. And one thing you want to do is um, you want to reference back to the Mongo URI that we had in there. So, oopsie. So as you can see, this was the Mongo URI over here. Um, we're just going to copy that because we're going to need to use it. But when we type in npm run admin, it's going to promptly ask us uh, for the Mongo URI and then an email address for our administration account and then a password and then there it creates something for us just ignore the error if it throws one at you you're all set and over here once we log in we're all set up so you can create a bundle, but in order to create a bundle, you need to make sure that you have everything here set up. So your domain name. So let's say you're just hosting on Heroku without a domain. You'd probably want this here. And we'll say Discord Keybot Squad. I don't know, whatever. And if you're using PayPal, then you put in your information. And if you're using Stripe, you'll put in your information here. And then likewise, all the information. Once you update your server, it's highly recommended that you want to go back in Heroku and underneath here, uh, restart all dinos, and then everything's all set. And like that, uh, your keybot server should be all set up. As you can see, all the roles are here, and even the bot is here. So if we message it like hello, it'll do all the magical stuff. So that's all you really got to do, and hopefully this was helpful.